I'm Shelly Turner with the Builderall team. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the subscriber URL and the stock page to add subscribers to your list. Start here in the Mailing Boss dashboard, and I'm going to take a look at subscriber list B number one. Okay, and as you can see, I've got four subscribers, zero unsubscribers. And right here is where I want you to take a look at what we're going to work at in this video. So we have a subscriber URL and there's a button that says copy link. So I'm going to click that button and it actually has copied the link. Now I'm going to go into a new browser and I'm going to put in that URL. So I'm just going to paste it in there. And it comes up with a stock page that looks like this that stock page all it has is the bare bones it asks for the email and for the first name and then it has a subscribe button so let's go back to mailing boss and take a look at all the things that we need to look at for that stock page to make any changes that we want to make so we're going to go into overview on the subscriber list we're going to go to where it says pages and this is where our stock pages and emails are at so I'm going to click pages and you'll see that I've got my stock pages and my stock emails and right here is the stock subscription form so if I click that I can now go and edit that page it doesn't look quite the same as what we saw because on the page that we looked at it was the live page and it took tags and translated that into information that it put onto the page. It said the list name on the page, it listed the list fields, and then it had the submit button. So let's go back and take a look at that. Here's the list name, here is the fields that were in that list, and then the subscribe button. All of those were there, so now let's take a look at how maybe we can edit this. So let's go ahead and pull in some elements including um, let's say this right here pull that in and let's say welcome all right so we've added a little bit of text and it should say the list name right underneath and then for these fields i think i'm going to enter um, i'm going to spread them apart a little bit we'll see how that looks let's say we put a picture in there make it look kind of nice and uh, we won't change the wording but we'll pretend like it's amazing wording that just really catches their attention let's go ahead and click here and see if we can't maybe center this and we'll have our list fields and then the submit button and it looks like everything is great we just kind of made it look a little bit better so let's go ahead and click save and next and now we've changed that page and we've saved it and we have the opportunity to actually preview it so let's go ahead and preview it to see what it looks like and now this is that same page but remember we changed it a little bit we added some wording up here we centered the name of the list we added some text and content in a picture and then we actually kind of changed this up a little bit to create some space between the fields and the subscribe button so you can see the power that you have with editing this stock page that the subscriber will see when they go to subscribe to your list if you use the stock page. Now, this is different if you use the uh, opt-in form or the contact form in Builderall when you're building your website. But if you wanted to use that URL, that subscription URL, it would take you to this page where they would see the information that you put on there and then they'd be able to subscribe using this page. So let's go ahead and subscribe now so you can see how it works because this is actually live. So I'm going to go ahead and put an email in. I've always wanted to meet Superman so we'll say that he's on our list. And now that I've filled that out I'm going to click subscribe and when you do that you're going to see that the second stock page shows up which is the page that tells the subscriber to check their email list in order to confirm their subscription. So let's go back to Mailing Boss and take a look at the pages again. And what we just saw was the pending subscribe page, which is the stock page that the user will see when they have to go check their email and confirm that they were subscribing to the list. So you could actually click that one 
and go ahead and edit that page as well. And it would make it look different and match the design of your website. That's just some ideas on how you can use that subscription URL instead of using a contact form or email marketing form that's in your Builderall website. So just kind of a different way of looking at it and a different way of seeing how to use those stock pages that are available in Mailing Boss. So let's take a look and see if we got Superman added to our subscriber list. I can see now that I've got six subscribers. So let's go ahead and click where it says subscribers. And there Superman is right there. So we've actually added him to our list using the subscription URL and the stock subscription page that we edited. So that's how we use the subscription URL that's available in your Mailing Boss dashboard.